I want to do this uh, video about active suspension systems. I want to talk a little bit about the types of sensors that you are used in active suspension systems and uh, go over and discuss the operation of them just a little bit. Uh, to start with, I want to kind of go over kind of just a real general uh, operation of how they work. Um, these are some of the sensors that are used in a, a typical uh, active suspension systems. You see we have the steering wheel position sensor. Um, we can also have a camera and some uh, advanced systems, vehicle speed sensor, brake pedal position sensor, g-force sensor, yaw sensors, height sensors, struts may have uh, sensors in them to measure the up and down movement of the strut, uh, even wheel speed sensors. Uh, all these sensors, uh, you know, it may not use all of them, but whatever sensors it does use, uh, feed information into the ECU. The ECU is going to use uh, whatever sensors it's looking at uh, to make determinations on what to do with the suspension systems. Uh, the ECU, uh, suspension ECU, is going to control the strut actuators and basically control the dampening of the strut. So it's going to send an output. So we use these sensors. The ECU is going to determine what to do, and it's going to go and control an actuator, which is usually in the strut. The strut then is going to be changed uh, as far as how stiff it is or its height. Sometimes they'll extend them uh, and raise them up, uh, lower them, and do different things with them. Um, some systems actually have sway bar actuators, which can change the sway bar uh, in lengths and change how stiff the sway bars are. Uh, some of them actually have hydraulic pumps to, to push fluid in and out of the, the struts. Um, there's just various uh, uh, different makeups and types of these on what they use. But uh, here's some just some of the sensors that are used. The ECU is going to control actuators uh, on the outputs to control the dampening of the struts and the control of the body movement. So. Uh, we have inputs. The ECU is going to control the outputs to control body movement. Here's a video. It's going over one of the predictive uh, active suspension systems that kind of uses uh, to show you how those outputs uh, control body Thanks movement. Thanks to the 2020 Audi S8 active suspension, a standard feature on German market S8s, the ride becomes quite plush. The system which works in conjunction with the air suspension and can pull each wheel up or down separately using electromechanical actuators, or at least that's the theory. In practice, a camera detects larger irregularities such as speed bumps, which are hardly noticeable when you drive over them. Only very narrow imperfections are missed. And another feature of the Comfort Plus mode, in curves, the body tilts inwards by up to three degrees, thereby so I want to stop the video and point out some things. Uh, you can see that there's uh, power electronics on the front and rear axle um, that would be in the struts and on the suspension. Um, there's going to be a controller um, that's going to control it, central controller. Uh, there's also going to be a camera added into this system and that's going to make this a little bit different than some of the systems. Reducing lateral roll. Elevated entry is going to raise the vehicle by two inches to help assist getting in and out. They're increasing the shock or strut height. Shut the door, it goes back down to normal. We can use the vehicle speed to determine how fast we're going to change up and down. It's using the camera to scan the road recognize bumps such as speed bumps if it sees a speed bump it raises the vehicle it gives the tires room to come up into the wheel well so the shocks can absorb the upward movement of the tires without raising the body up and then it goes back down to normal you can also have driver input buttons for comfort or uh, sport mode. Notice when we hit the brakes that it controlled the dive of the front end. 
basically raised the front end up so the front of the vehicle didn't dive as much, stiffen the shocks in the front. <coughs> Turning corners, it's going to control the movement of the body there too. Notice as we go into a uh, curve, the G4 sensors and yaw sensors, lateral force sensors. Notice how it controls and leans the car to counteract those forces. Um, so instead of us actually uh, leaning uh, over into the other seat, uh, notice how the car, when we go around a curve, it's actually leaning into the curve just like a motorcycle would. So instead of slinging us out or against the door, it's actually rolling the car into the curve, leaning just like a motorcycle would, so it's pushing us down into the seat. Um, makes it much more comfortable. You can see as we go around the curve, it rotates the other way. Here, the roll movement of the rear axle. We can control the sway bars in the front and rear to control the rolling of the car, so we actually uh, helps us go around the curve better. So you can kind of see how that works to help control the uh, struts and the sway bars, and the camera actually looks at the road to uh, control movement. Um, so really does. Uh, controls the suspension. That's what an active suspension is. It just basically looks and uses sensors to um, anticipate what the vehicle's body's doing and counteract that to make for a much smoother ride. So.